Hey guys, welcome to part two of the 3D printed replacement part series for the GHK GBB conversion kit. So, um, I have had comments in the past that have been like, uh, well, wouldn't it just be easier to buy a new kit? Yes, but that is not the point of this. The point of this is to try to fix the kit that I already have because I can't afford a new one and also learn a lot along the way about how the kit functions and maybe how we can make it better. So, today is part two, and we are going to be looking at the part that originally broke on mine, which is this part. Um, of course, I have, this is the original right half, and it's fine, but the original left half on mine snapped right down here, just from a lot of use. I don't um, think that it was just, it, it may have been a weak part to begin with, but overall I don't think that that should deter you from buying the kit. And uh, the parts mount to together something like this, and uh, you know all the assembly was inside, and just I guess over time from the bolt hitting the plastic, it just broke it. So, um, I don't believe that this is nylon. Whatever this is, it is a lot more rigid than the nylon parts. Uh, it's not marked anywhere. If anyone knows for sure, you're welcome to leave it down in the comments below. Um, but I'm honestly not that sure. Um, but I want to recreate them in nylon because nylon is really good at absorbing impacts and it's just super, super strong. So, all these white parts obviously are in nylon because nylon is white unless you, um, are lucky and you pay more and get other colors, but I got white because I don't care. Um, and anyway, so I printed two of these. So this one was printed flat on the bed like this, and this one was printed flat on the bed like this. And as you can kind of see, look how badly that's warped. I mean, the white doesn't really show up that well on camera, but you can kind of see how this is curled up. Yeah, that's horrible. And the same thing on, on this one, you can kind of see how it's curled a bit down and because it was peeling off the bed. So I've been experimenting with printing these, but I'm having a lot of issues with them warping. And the thing is, when it warps like this, it compresses the layers. So what you end up getting is a part that's super dimensionally inaccurate. So then when you go and put it together, it was, you know, the model is accurate, the model's fine. You go put it together, you get stuff like that where you have this gap because the layers got smushed together and so they were thinner and I mean look at that look at that gap so this piece actually does work indeed I tested it um, although you have to screw it together a little bit looser to account for that gap but the model is fine to my knowledge so I'm gonna go ahead and post the model on Thingiverse um, probably not the day the video comes out but really shortly um, so I know that quite a few people want the model for this and um, in part three we're gonna be work we're gonna be looking at this part uh, I won't spoil it for you but you already see parts on the table um, but back to this part real quickly I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna print this without it you know warping because the issue is if I print it vertically like this then you have your layers going like this up the part well that is where the parts getting strained it's getting pulled apart like this every time that bolt slams back and then slams forward and then slams back and slams forward um, if you printed it like that then you could have some issues with the layers coming apart and uh, it's just not nearly as strong that way. It's a lot stronger if you print it like this where the layers are, are horizontally so you're pulling on the layers themselves and you're getting the full strength of the material. Um, but the issue is obviously I can't sell parts that look like this. So how am I going to solve this issue? Um, I haven't exactly figured that out yet. Anybody have any ideas you can leave them down in the, dis or down in the comments below and uh, I will definitely try them. But it's kind of, I'm, I think it could be that I need to heat turn on the heated bed or something else but I'm gonna be going I'm gonna do a little bit more research into printing nylon and see if anybody's got any uh, good ideas on how to prevent this from warping like this because if I can get this model is very accurate I mean it's identical to the original in that like, every way I mean there's a couple things that I changed just to make it a little bit better um, but other than that it's I completely identical to the original um, 
So, yeah, if I could just get it to print without warping, that would be great. Um, by the way, I'm printing it this as a 260C, which is higher than you would probably, you know, which is, you know, up the upper range of nylon. So that could be part of the issue that it's just got too long to cool. I did turn on the cooling fan um, on the printer, and that didn't really seem to help. So... We're gonna, I'm gonna have to do some experimenting and probably print a couple more of these because I also, I also model this half and I want to have both 3D printed in my gun uh, just because I think it'll be cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, come back for part three and we're going to be talking about this wonderful looking part right here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a very nice day.